I got this feeling inside my brains It goes electric wavy when I make them A's All through fourth grade, all through my school We're flying up no ceiling when we're in our zone I've got that sunshine in my pocket Looking forward to a good day I feel I can do everything when I try I can't stop myself from learning Moving up academically Unlock the way we rock it, so don't stop. Hello everybody and welcome back to part two of today's lesson, which is lines of symmetry or symmetry, which is TEKS 4.6b. Excellent. So let's get started. Remember to copy this down in your notebook because these are the important notes that you will use. Okay. And I also have them both in English and in Spanish, so choose whatever um, works best for you, okay? First up is vocabulary, okay? So shapes have symmetry when one half is a mirror image or the exact copy of the other half, okay? So remember, so if I were to draw, hmm, let's see what we have here. If I were to have this, okay, and I were to just, oh, There we go. And um, oh, no, step it. There we go. And if I was to just cut this in half, a straight line, but obviously I can't do the straight, that would be a mirror image, okay? This half would be half of this. Okay, do you see that? Okay. This shape has symmetry. See how it's a mirror image right here? See how they put the mirror? This shape has symmetry, okay? This half is the same thing as this half, or this top is the same thing as this top. But this shape does not have symmetry, okay? If I were to fold this in half, it would not be identical, okay? <clears throat> Line of symmetry can be either horizontal, so this way, vertical, this way, or diagonal, this way. Okay, horizontal, vertical, diagonal. A figure that can be folded or divided into matching congruent parts, which is congruent, okay, matching congruent parts, has one or more lines of symmetry, okay? One or more lines of symmetry. The number of congruent signs equals the number of congruent lines of symmetry in a figure so if i say a triangle and a triangle sometimes has three congruent signs how how many lines of symmetry does it have good three let's look at this one. Oh well we already did the triangle right okay one two three oh that one's not good. No way, no. Three. There we go. Four congruent sides. Let's see. So how many do you think will have number of lines of symmetry? If we have four congruent sides, how many lines of symmetry are we going to have? Good. Four. One. Two. Three. Four. I know they're not like super straight. <laughs> okay, there I fixed it. They're gonna be as straight as possible with the lines. Okay. <clears throat> so, so now let's get into shapes or as what we call them in fourth grade, polygons, okay? So remember, polygons are a flat 2D figure they're not 3D, okay? All, the, all sides have to be straight. They have to be closed. And they have to be... They can't be intersecting lines, no curves, none of that, okay? So, for an example, so if I draw a square... Okay? So... 
So if I draw a rectangle, perfect, okay? This is a flat 2D figure. All sides are straight. They're closed. There's nothing open. There's no curves. There's no intersecting lines. But what if I drew this? Is that a, is that a polygon? No. Why? Good, because it has curves. Okay. What about this? No. Why? Good, because it's open. Okay, so now you know the difference between a polygon and a non-polygon. Okay. Alright, and then we're going to learn um, about some more quadrilaterals. This is a really good song that I think you're going to like. Parallelograms have two sets of parallel lines. Trapezoids only have one set at a time. A rectangle has four right angles. A rhombus has four sides that are equal. Squares have four equal sides and four right angles. Quadrilaterals have four sides and four angles. Parallelograms, rhombuses, trapezoids, squares and rectangles. And if you add the angles inside each of these, there will be 360 degrees Parallelograms have two sets of parallel lines Trapezoids only have one set at a time A rectangle has four right angles A rhombus has four sides that are equal Squares have four equal sides and four right angles Quadrilaterals have four sides and four angles Parallelograms, rhombuses, trapezoids, squares and rectangles And if you add the angles inside each of these There will be 360 degrees Awesome! Okay, so here are some common polygons that we went over and, and you hear them sometimes in the Mm, the video that we just watched. Triangle. Triangle has three sides. A quadrilateral, which is a bunch of um, polygons that have four sides. Pentagon is five sides. Hexagon is six. Octagon is eight. And then in the live class, I'll draw these out for you so that way you can have a reference to look at, okay? Um, that is it for today's lesson. So remember, that was your notes, and here is your exit ticket, okay? So which figure appears to have two or more lines of symmetry? Figure K and L only. Figure M and N only. Figure K, L, and N only. Or all four. Which figure appear, which figure, uh, which figures appear to have two or more lines of symmetry? So there has to be two or more lines of symmetry. Okay. Remember, line symmetry can go vertical, horizontal, or diagonal, okay? That is it for today. I hope you learned a lot about line symmetry, and I'll see you next time. Bye!